Managing your mainframe monthly license charges isn't easy. In fact, trying to determine what drives your costs from SCRT reports can be almost impossible. You might be trying your best to figure it out by creating spreadsheets, identifying workloads to move out of your peak, manually capping, and even moving work off the mainframe. Whoops, oh, your bill just went up, and you don't know why. Frustrated? Yeah, we don't blame you. Unfortunately, figuring out the best cost reduction strategy is very difficult using manual methods. And here's why. Many people think they are charged for what they're actually using. If this were true, your bill would be calculated like this. Take the usage for each product in your peak and multiply it by the price of that product. The total equals your monthly bill. But this is not how your bill is calculated. This begs the question, how is MLC actually calculated? It starts with the rolling four-hour average. Each hour, your usage is identified and averaged with the previous three hours to create a rolling four-hour average. The peak, or the highest average usage during the month, is identified and used as the basis to calculate your MLC bill. Now, this is where it gets interesting and complicated. Most people think they are charged at the peak usage for each individual product such as DB2, which would look something like this. But that is not how you are charged. Instead, you are charged the total peak usage of all workloads running on the LPAR, added together and then multiplied by every product's cost. And that looks like this. Wow, that's a big difference. And if you're running multiple LPARs like most shops, it gets even more complex. Your MLC charges are based on the highest total peak across all LPARs where each product runs, which makes tracking the peak really complicated. So, if you think you're the only one who doesn't fully understand how to reduce MLC costs, you are not alone. MLC pricing models are complex, with new ones frequently being introduced, such as country multiplex and mobile workload pricing. It's more complicated than many people realize, which is why spreadsheet analysis is just not effective. Trying to make cost-saving changes through trial and error is difficult, especially when you need to wait a month to verify whether your changes made a difference. Why is this so complicated? And why should companies continue to struggle with spreadsheets to determine the drivers of their monthly costs? BMC saw this as an important issue and has addressed it. Don't continue wasting valuable time and resources. BMC offers a solution to manage and forecast MLC budgets, identify cost reduction opportunities, automate capping, optimize subsystem placement, and deliver lower MLC costs. Take back control and reduce mainframe costs right away with MLC Cost Management Solutions from BMC.